hello dear friends welcome back we are discussing about muscles of the arm region right muscles of arm or brachium in the previous lecture we have discussed about biceps then we discussed about brachialis and coracobrachialis now the third muscle uh, you know uh, we had divided the arm into an anterior compartment and posterior compartment the anterior compartment muscles were three and the posterior compartment muscles is only one the triceps right so what is tricep uh, triceps it is called tricep because uh, it has three heads tri means three sips means head cephalus sip means head so it is a muscle of arm right its shape is uh, often appears as a shape of horse shoe on the posterior aspect of the arm right i will show you uh, you can see here in this image right Th these are the tricep muscles right it has three heads we will discuss what is its location the tricep brachii is located in the dorsal compartment of the arm you know and now it is clear that the arm has two compartments ventral compartment and dorsal compartment ventral compartment muscles are bicep brachialis and coracobrachialis and dorsal compartment muscle is one only and tricep what is its origin it has three heads and it gets origin from three different regions so we say uh, the long head the medial head and the lateral head you can see here the long head gets its origin from infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula here is you know in the scapula glenoid cavity so there is tubercle supraglenoid tubercle infraglenoid tubercle so the long head of tricep muscle gets its origin from the uh, infraglenoid tubercle the medial head gets its origin from the posterior surface of humerus inferior to radial groove there is radial groove and the lateral head posterior surface of humerus superior to radial groove so we say the long head gets its origin from the infraglenoid tubercle the medial head gets its origin from the humerus inferior to radial groove and the short the lateral head gets its origin again from the surface of the humerus from superior radial which is superior uh, superior to radial groove what is its insertion it inserts into the olecranon process of the ulna and fascia of forearm so here you will see that there is olecranon process right <clears throat> there is olecranon process of ulna so it inserts in the olecranon process of ulna what are its actions the tricep muscle is responsible for the extension of your forearm you know when tricep muscle really contracts your forearm is pulled backward your for forearm is pulled backward so that's why we say that uh, the tricep muscle is responsible for the extension of the forearm right and at the shoulder joint it is responsible for the extension and adduction of the arm that means the long head of the tricep muscle is responsible for the adduction of the arm and the extension of the arm what is its blood supply the tricep muscle is mainly supplied with the deep brachial artery and the super ulnar superior ulnar collateral artery which arises from the brachial artery so mostly your uh, tricep muscle is supplied by brachial artery and what is its innervation it is innervated by the radial nerve which you can see here this is your radial nerve and then it gives branches to the long head to the medial head and to the lateral head of the tricep muscle you know this is your deltoid and this posterior is tricep muscle right so this was about its innervation so we discussed about the tricep muscle the bicep muscle the brachialis muscle and the coracobrachialis so friends uh, up to now if you want to know what we have done we have recorded about the muscles of the upper limb you know upper limb i had divided it into six regions the pectoral region the back region the shoulder region and the arm region right so the muscles in these four regions are recorded for you guys the pectoral region muscles right these are pectoral region the pectoralis major pectoralis minus serratus anterior and the subclavius muscle were here 
and then the muscles of back the latissimus dorsi muscles and those others uh, right and the shoulder region muscles the deltoid uh, supra uh, spinous infraspinous right and the subscapularis muscle these muscles and then we discussed about the muscles of the arm the anterior compartment muscle and the posterior compartment muscle in the next lecture we will go towards the muscles of forearm and same will be the case the forearm is also divided into anterior and posterior the flexors and the extensors and then they are divided into superficial and deep layer muscles so we will see them there so see you guys in the next lecture till then allah hafiz